Corey Jackson had just gotten home from serving our country and he was getting ready to go to school to pursue a career in cybersecurity. According to those arrest warrants, Corey lost his life over his car. Um, yeah, so this is basically all of his like military accolades. These awards are for U.S. Uh, Army veteran Corey Jackson's eight years of service. Uh, he went down to the border. Corey's brother, uh, Carrie James, uh, says the two were very close. She wanted us to be twins and everything. Almost like so. twins, born 11 months apart. Corey was really just a guy that love to take care of people. Their closeness came to an unexpected and tragic end on April 20th when Carrie James got a call from their sister. She told me that he had been shot. Corey's family says he was in his work van taking a nap between his two jobs when he was killed here along Main Street in northwest Atlanta. Once we got to the scene and we got out the car and, and they told us, you know, he had passed, that's when, you know, it kind of just, all the emotions just kind of hit us. So it was hard and, and heavy, honestly. According to arrest warrants, this man, John Kevius Anderson, was out with three other men striking, a slang term for checking handles to try to steal cars. Anderson faces murder charges for allegedly shooting Corey and killing an accomplice, Jalen Curtis, who investigators say was hit by a bullet from Anderson's gun during the crime. It's been hard. Um, it still doesn't even feel real that my brother isn't here. Um, Honestly, every day is, is challenging. Corey's mother, Kalina Davis, says Corey had bright plans for his future. He had a um, full-time job and he had just gotten a promotion on that full-time job um, to a sales manager, so he was excited about that. He won up maybe with this one. So. Carrie James holds his brother's accolades close to his heart as he continues coming to terms with his loss. I just want everybody to remember him as Corey, the, the lovable, caring young man that he was. Corey's family tells me just hours ago he was ready for a new chapter in his life. He was planning a vacation with his girlfriend to Dubai. Corey's loved ones are currently in grief counseling.